In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a screen recording for free using a program called Jing. Now, the great thing about it is, one, that it's free, and two, that it will automatically upload things for you. And then you can just send the link out for people to view them. So pick your flavor here. Start for Windows or Mac. Let's go with Windows here. And I'll just save it here. And down it comes. Okay, let's run it now. And do the install. So, accept the fine print and you should read it. I have an options over here. You can launch Jing after installation. Start Jing when the computer starts. I don't like to do that. And where you want to put it. And let's go back. Or let's install here. And then we'll just wait for that to finish the install. Okay, let's open it up. And it'll stick to the top of your screen there. You also have a control down on your taskbar. I clicked on Jing in my taskbar at the bottom that shows it over on the right where it keeps all your running programs and then I went to more and now it gives you this little menu here where you can do some things. Now here we'll go into preferences. Now there's some things you can do in here. You can manage your account. When you go through and set up Jing it will prompt you to set up a account in TechSmith to upload it. I've already done that so it didn't ask me in this installation but this is where it'll automatically upload my stuff for me. You can set your hotkeys. Your, if you have a proxy you can set it here. You customize your share buttons. Okay so we have share is screencast.com that's on TechSmith's site. Editor save and copy and then you can set a new button here. Okay, and it's, it's video format SWF, so it'll play in your browser. If you want more options, you need to use Camtasia Studio. As you see, it switches to that site. You can set up your video hotkeys here. So stop is F7, pause and resume is F8. And then you can launch on startup. Remember, I turned that off when I installed it. You can also hide the Jing Sun. What it means by that is that Jing is sticks a little sun at the very top of your screen in the center when it's running. So if you want to hide that, you can just click here and it won't be there. Now this is important here, audio input. You need to select the microphone. As you can see, it's picking up my voice so it's selected the right microphone here. But make sure you go in here and select your microphone to make sure that your sound works properly. And if you want to help Jing, you can set the user's data collection here. Okay, so let's click Finish. That's now set us up so that we can use our microphone and everything's going to work the way we want it. Okay, now to get it recording, you just go and you click on Jing and you Capture. And it brings some crosshairs up, as you see here. So you just, as you see, different parts of the screen highlight when I move this around. So everything that highlights is going to get captured when I have my crosshairs in different spots. Okay, So if I just want to get this piece, I click here. Now a little toolbar has appeared at the bottom and you can't see it actually in this video. Now the toolbar has on it capture video or capture image, capture video, redo selection or cancel. Okay, so I'm going to click on capture video and here it goes. It's counting down and now it is recording the video. Now that little toolbar is still below me here and I can stop it or pause it on there. I can mute it or I can cancel it. Now if I go ahead and say that I'm done, then I just click I click finish or I can click F7 because remember 
I set my hotkeys. And here it is. This is the Jing video that was just recorded. Okay, so that's it. Now, here's the pause button. I'll just pause it. But that's the video there. Now, if we pull this up a little further, here's our share options. Remember, we set these before. So I can now give this a name, or you can leave the name as it is. But if you wanted to give it a different name, you could do it here. So we can share various very uh, screencast, and it'll upload it to screencast.com. We can save it to our computer, cancel, and customize the Jing buttons. So let's share via screencast. Okay, and now that it's done uploading, here it is, uploaded to screencast.com. And then we can view it on screencast. So if we click on this now, it brings it up in the browser for us. And there it is on Jing. Now there's a URL in the browser and you can just copy that and send it out wherever you need it. So that is how you use Jing to create free screen captures.